and she has that cue. Um, Howard is not raw vegan, he loves meat, but this guy's prayers are fantastic. It's so important for us to forgive each other and forgive every ancestor and forgive all our mistakes and forgive ourselves and all our ancestors and just get that vibration in ourselves to like reset, right? Now we're ready to like move forward. We're now ready to move forward because we left behind the baggage. And he's his prayers are masterful. Nick Good. I love Nick Good. We're all Buddhists, lives over there in Nummy Land. Nick Good's a brother, he taught me to really just focus on breathing in the Holy Spirit. You know, we can transmute how we live life in, in one breath just by going, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to just breathe unconsciously, I'm going to go. And I'm going to say thank you for that breath. And if you start doing that regularly and you trigger yourself, it starts to literally make some sort of a, almost like you're on drugs because you're so happy all the time. Um, and Storm, Engine, Storm has lived for 38 years of World II, and that guy, there's a video of me trying to keep up with him on the internet, uh, up in the mountains at altitude. We ran together through the forest, this guy likes to run through the forest like a deer, and we got to the end of the, the 400 meter quarter mile, he's 60 years old, and he's like this. <laughs> and I'm like, and it was another mind-blowing experience to see someone who's 60 behaving like they're immortal, you know? And I, I won't be daring enough to say this word immortal because I feel Kazar has immortal potential. I feel angelic and have immortal potential. And when I see it, and when the science of today starts backing up, the, they're even finding cells can be immortal if they are loved enough, nurtured enough, helped, helped enough, cared for enough. And we're just now discovering this massive power of these superfoods. Who knows where we're going to go? We're still evolving. I'm still learning every day. I learn from Kazar every day. I learn from Wolf every day. I learn from Angelica. I learn, I learn from myself. I learn from sitting in the sun and just saying, teach me today, son. Just teach me. <laughs> and something pops in there. I'm like, wow. You know? But I had to ask. Yeah, I had to ask to learn. All right, next. Okay, so I was praying here and... Uh, Hawaii, loved it. The Hawaiian Islands, this, this, there's something about the vortex here, traveling the entire world and seeing all these countries, the energy here and the people and the aloha spirit and the, the fresh fruit, the agriculture, the winds that are blowing, the trade winds, it is magic, man. It is a blessed place, you know. And so I just wanted to share how grateful I am that this place exists. You know what I'm saying? Next one. Next one. Oh, coconuts, that's us just enjoying life. I, I always think we gotta enjoy life. I play music every morning just to like, yeah, let's go, you know? We gotta have that, have fun, a lot of love, and, and hugs. I always wanna say, I don't know if I see enough hugs going on in the world. Hugs. <laughs> hugs and cuddles are so important because not only did we get endorphins from that, but everyone watching got endorphins from it. And we don't do it enough, you know? Thanks. Raw vegan liquidarian. We didn't do liquidarian for 40 days. We did liquid superfoods for 40 days. That's how I could suck my stomach like that because I couldn't before I did that. So that liquidarian diet can actually shift you up into a different frequency. Power, cleansing, pushing out what is not supposed to be in there. And then after we came off the liquids, after we came off the liquids, we went to Ola, which is a raw vegan restaurant in uh, Orange County in Southern California. And we didn't even want, we ordered all this food and we didn't even want it when it came. Didn't even want it. Oh, yeah. Systems didn't want it. We feel a lot cleaner. Well, yeah, the more you have superfoods, if you go back, you, like Kazar was saying, you don't want to revert. It's like, eh, you, you, if you, you eat superfoods, you're like, you're amazing. You feel amazing. You go back and eat something crappy, it's like, eh, it's like a downgrade. All right. Personal training, life coaching, diet, sports, absorbing the sun. I'm going to have to speed this up to get back and catch the plane. Let's go next slide. Okay, fitness, fruit, fun, barefoot, as Kazar was saying, so important. Electronic magnetic frequencies, jumping into the ocean, jumping into brooks and streams to get rid of those EMS, cleanse the uh, negative ones that are on the cell phones, laptops, all the cars and all the industry we're around. So I always go barefoot if I can. I warm up every sprint barefoot before I even put my spikes on. It actually 
realigned my legs and made them sprint perfectly because before I didn't have the biofeedback. So my foot was probably striking odd in the sneaker and I wasn't aware. But the minute I went barefoot, something started happening and I started turning into like, you know, a cheetah. <laughs> All right, next. There's uh, Vince and Maggie as we helped him. Uh, and this Maggie when she was going through her chemo in the hospital, all hooked up to the machines. And uh, he had already got to that process, and I was saying, you should really not go through that, but we, you can't take people out right away. They don't, they don't have trust in the new system, because they're already at that stage when they have the cancer, and you know. All you can really do at that point is assist them in the process of detoxifying, assist them in the process of getting higher vibrational frequency, and thank God Maggie is doing so great, and that's a part of my heart. And there's Vince. He was 265 pounds when he first employed me, and he's now 195. Super happy, his family's healthy, and they've got a garden of raw organic fruit, fruit and vegetables growing outside. I mean, it's like, it's mind-blowing how much work can be done in one year. Next, uh, next one. Robert, he actually used to be even more than that, but when he came to Hawaii, after one week in Hawaii with me, he went from 246 to 227. You can see the results right there, you know? And it's like, the, the, the same fats on the face is the same fats in the brain, by the way. And he even said, man, at work, I'm getting promotions, I'm thinking quickly. You know, it's like, it is changing his life cerebrally. Next one. Tom O'Bradovich, before he was 280, now he's 180. 1.5 years of work, but the guy, he's become, he's becoming a teenager again. You know, it's like, it shocked, that shocked me. You know, I, I'm shocked watching these things go on. It just shows that there's hope for anyone. And these individuals are super happy to share this, to say, hey, if I can do it, you can too. You know, it's loving. Next, oh, me. Yeah, I was a flesh eater at 230 pounds, now I'm 180, I've got more energy and speed, as raw vegan, what's next? I'm waiting for my next level of evolution, man. I'm hoping I can just start levitating here, you know what I'm saying? I mean, if I get enough sheet in my system and it redesigns my nervous system and I can like figure out gravitation with breathing, maybe I can like hover. <laughs> All right, next. All right. Diet exercise, we know that's important. So this little thing that Lou Corona teaches is just so important, just to get your lymph going. Rebounding, just, just, just to do this one. I mean, it is important to get out there and do what you would love to do and have fun with it, but that limit of rebounding and walking. Walking, they've shown that just even go on a walk, stimulates the brain, makes the brain grow new neurons. All right, next. An ascension. What is ascension, man? Where, where are we all heading? I mean, even now, we are practicing an art form, sacred semen, celibacy, because it's, it's you know, it's because I was saying, you said something about the parasites exchange with each other, you know, when people get involved in acts of love. But at this time, holding seed and, and focused on ascension is also another area that I'm exploring. And I don't want to get too deep into that, but what I do want to say is, this is definitely ascension. Something's going on. You're, you're going up the ladder. As I've watched Kazar, he's, his heart has opened up, you know. His, his wisdom was always there, you know, and he was like ripped. But as I watched him, his heart has opened up. So his chakras are changing. He's ascending. You know, he's loving and helping humanity even more. Uh, I was an aggressive guy. As, uh, that's why I was able to help Alyssa, Alyssa here. Chef Angelic, she was aggressive. I was like, okay, I remember when I was in that space. It's like I could help her. And it's because we're all on this journey of ascension, but we don't know how far we can go yet. And it's exciting to see how far we can take it. Because this is, you know, this could probably be basic 101 for an, an advanced extraterrestrial. <laughs> 520. 520? Gotta really get out of here. Alright, next, next. Okay, Zen Nation's coming out. Dr. Kazar's in it. Gotta give a shout out to my boy Monier. He made this film. It's more about the journey of ascension and role. Next. Sustainability mission. That's why I wanted to come here. Unite with Dr. Bazaar, Superfoods, take this as far as we can take it. Next. Create an ecosystem, friendly, su sustainable society where we grow and eat local fruit and produce, take time for physical activity daily, live, love, and harmony with nature, respect our God-given temple, seek and share truth and wisdom, and have faith in our interconnectivity. Says it all. Next. 
like the Avatar. You know, we all love that movie because they they seem to have it, and, and the machine guys didn't. They were you know, they were being foolish, really. And we could all see it. We're like, ah, oh. <laughs> next. Uh, sustainable solution, consumerism. These are obviously the enemies right now. Consumerism, poor diet, lack of physical activity. Next. Cancer is the number one killer right now. Like two to four thousand people per day. Enemy, of course. I mean, I like how Kazar says let's re re redesign our inner terrain. Don't feed it. Stop feeding it. Next. Obesity, second, another one, killing 2,000 people a day. Any disease related to that? Next. Oh, here's the, I think the fattest state. Which one is it? Uh, Mississippi? <laughs> Mississippi, Jesus. You know? It's like, it's everywhere. So, we love you, America, but you gotta wake up. Next. Next, next, next. Alright. Well, solutions. Yeah, next. Support your local farmers. Purchase organic. Help restrict the use of pesticides. Start a vegetable garden at home. Plant fruit trees. Eat as close to the vine as you can. After picking as you can, and eat with reverence. Can I just say one yeah, thing? Go ahead. There's a, I don't know if you guys are aware, but there's a Senate bill, a Senate bill S510. It passed, which would make it illegal to grow your own food. One guy already went to jail for growing tomato. Um, <laughs> how idiot and how stupid is that? Uh, it'll make it illegal for you to grow your own food. It'll make you, make it illegal for you to buy organic. Um, it'll make it illegal for these organic farmers to to grow, to use their own seeds. They have to use the Monsanto seeds. So vote you know, against that. Vote, vote against, against that. that. Or, or just be a rebel. Because I'll, I'll go into the mountains and eat my raw food before they stop me. <laughs> I set up a tent. I get my chin as it go. I mean, we we cannot allow that system to win. You just can't. You just got to be a voice. Got to be strong. You can, and the more you and you down there get into this food and change your life, the more there will be strength in numbers. Next one. What from? Uh, all right. Nature's opportunities. Next. Sorry, people. We're gonna catch a plane. Being grateful. Great gratitude. It's, it's so important to have that glass half full attitude with everything you do. Be solution oriented and be grateful. Next. Amazed at the flowers, yes. Next one. Next one. Be the change in the world you want to see. I love that quote. Because I want to see a change in the world. I know Kazar does. I know Angelic does. You know, and it's like you want to see a change in the world. So be it. And it takes being it takes you get involved. Sign up to Earth Shift, you know, uh, and I want to do something where I put Earth Shift on blast because I want to see the Earth change. Next, Mahalo, yeah, thank you. I think we did it. Namaste. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you. <laughs>